Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones here, and today I'm going to be doing a guide on how to start farming in Old School RuneScape as a noob. If you're a new player, welcome to Old School RuneScape. It's a fantastic game. However, it can be pretty overwhelming to start with. The first thing that you want to do when learning farming is you want to go ahead and buy some tools. So the best way to buy farming tools is you can buy them from uh, farmers who are next to these patches. So what you can do here is you can open this floating world map and a great place to start farming is south of Falador. There's a farming patch location right here and you start the game in Lumbridge so you don't have to even run that far but it's in this location. So let's go ahead and get yourself some tools. The best way is to trade a farming shop or to buy it on the Grand Exchange. Go ahead and buy yourself a rake, a sea dibber, some sectars, a spade, gardening trowel, and a watering can. What you can also do is you can get yourself some filled plant pots. You can buy these packs and put them in your bank. You will need those eventually, but I'll get into that soon enough. So with starting farming, once you have all those tools, you can actually store these tools with a leprechaun, which is really nice. So you don't have to store all these junk tools in your bank. You can just exchange the leprechaun and he will hold on to these tools for you. He will also hold on to plant cure and compost, which is really helpful. So here we are in Falador, and this is one of the many ointments plant areas. So I think in total, there's one, two, three, four, hmm. I think there's five ointment patches total in the game. If you're going to be starting farming, you're going to be needing potato seeds. So potato seeds can be bought at the Grand Exchange from other players. They're dropped from NPCs, and they're also sold at this farming shop in Draenor Village. Um, there's a woman who has a seed stall, and you can either steal the seeds and get a lot of potato seeds, or you can just trade her and buy some potato seeds. So once you've done that, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using watermelon seeds, because I'm 91 farming, and that's, that's the highest oil ointment that I can do. But you'll be using potato seeds. So what you're gonna, gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to get some compost. You can also buy compost from the farming shop that, that I just showed you over here, Sarah. And you can also make compost. So ways to make compost is you can put, for example, these cabbages. You can pick these cabbages and you can put them in this compost bin. And this will make normal compost for you. So you can come over here and just fill up this bin. And once it's done rotting, you can use a bucket on it and get a bunch of compost. That's a great way to get normal compost. I just filled the bin and it'll take about an hour or so to complete. And then you can just use buckets on this compost bin and you'll have compost. This will help your crops stay alive, st stop dying, and they're just... It'll give you more crops in general, so more farming XP. I'm using super compost, which is a higher level or higher tier compost. If you use watermelon or any higher tier crop on the compost bin, you'll get super compost. For more information on that, you can look on the wiki. So what you're going to want to do first is use any kind of compost on the ointment patch. Then you're going to want to use your seeds. Make sure that you have your seed dibber, your spade, and all of those farming tools in your inventory. Next, I suggest watering them. Another thing that you can do is you can pay the farmer to protect your crops, which is definitely recommended considering that it's a pain to stay by this patch all day long and make sure that it's not diseased. However, if it is diseased, you can use plant cure on it, and plant cure can also be bought at the farming shop. Each crop has a special payment to a farmer. For example, if you're doing potatoes, the payment is to compost. That's a very easy payment because you can just buy them from a farming shop over here like Sarah, trade her, buy some compost, and pay the farmer. Easy peasy. Now, here are two crops that you cannot pay to protect, and that's the flower plant and the herb plant. So a lot of people ask why is farming so important in RuneScape, it's really boring and I don't want to do this skill. So you can make a lot of money off of farming. For example, I just harvested some limp roots and we're going to plant some more, put the compost down, put the limp roots, and you're going to water them. You cannot pay to protect the flower patch or the herb patch. So let's do a little price check in this situation. As you can see, that's 2.2K. That's not that much, but let's start harvesting herbs. 
herbs and herb runs are going to make you a ton of money in runescape and a lot of people do herb runs daily and make major profit you buy the seeds on the grand exchange and you harvest them and then sell and you'll make a bunch of money money that way also farming is great for doing you know higher tier trees and such and i will explain to you how to start tree patches however I don't suggest doing trees until 15 farming, so you don't have to be too worried about that until you get to the higher tier farming. So here I'm planting, you know, uh, just an herb patch seed right there. Boom. Perfect. All right. And now, as you can see from just harvesting these herbs, let's see, price check it. I got 19K and one toad flax seed is 2K. So I made about, what is that? You know, 17, 16K profit off of one seed. So it is really phenomenal. Another thing I would like to show y'all is doing basically where you harvest um, trees in RuneScape. You can also harvest fruit trees. Once you hit 15 farming, I highly recommend you start doing oak trees. Um, you can also, and when you hit 27, you can start getting into fruit trees. I will post below a video of one of my guides where it explains all the fruit tree and tree patches in RuneScape. And so basically, it will show you all the locations and where you can plant these crops. If you do tree runs each day, you will have 40 to 50 farming literally within a day. And you can also pay to protect those trees. Now let's look here. And let me see here. So we're going to go to my farming tab. I have some filled plant pots right here. So that's a very, that's, you can buy a bunch from the farming store or from the Grand Exchange. You're going to need a, some kind of seed, uh, you know, um, tree seed. For in this example, I'm going to be using a magic seed. You can also use a type of fruit seed, but you have to have the requirement or the level. So for example, if you're doing oak, you're going to want to use an acorn. And we're going to be using it on this filled plant pot. So in this case, you want to make sure you have a gardening trowel and you also have a watering can because you're going to have to water this sapling. So I'm going to use the magic seed on the plant pot and I'm going to water it. Now, within a few minutes, this has become a magic seed sapling. And what you're going to want to do, just for to the time sake of this video, uh, we're going to pretend like this has grown into a sapling. It can take anywhere from five to seven minutes. It's pretty quick. Um, so I have a magic tree right here. I would clear this patch and then I would plant this sapling and pay the gardener to protect it. Below, I will link all of the farming patches and the guide that I have for farming patches, for herb runs, and for tree runs. I hope this guide, guide really helped y'all out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And welcome to Old School RuneScape, guys, and I hope this narrowed it down for y'all. Bye, guys.